Hello friends, welcome to Synapse video tutorials. In this video, I am going to give you introduction to Synapse warehouse and types of distributions. Previous video, I uh, explained how to create Synapse dedicated SQL full in portal, Azure portal. And I explained the architecture of Synapse data warehouse. So what is MPP architecture mm -hmm. and how we will create and how we will use this MPP architecture in Synapse dedicated pool or you can call it as SQL warehouse. So I created Synapse warehouse here. You can find a dedicated SQL pool or SQL warehouse you can call it as mm -hmm. and which I created and so when it comes to Synapse warehouse the default which I have chosen 100 warehouse units. So 100 warehouse distribution warehouse units means which is a single node and 60 distribution 60 distribution is 60 databases you can say that and this is a basic configuration and if you're not using this there is an option called pause why because they will charge you per hour so if you're not using this synapse warehouse there's a flexibility you can pause so on weekend or non-business service so if you're not using this warehouse so if you want to reduce the price or you can say consumption price so what you can do there is an option called pause if you want to automate this process, you can write some scripts and you can schedule the particular time based in Azure Data Factory. So that pool can be passed. Okay. So if you're not using that can pass and you can reduce the amount or you can say building amount. So if you want to connect this, there you can find one server name. Click on this server name and there is another option called query editor so query editor is available at browser where uh, it is under preview but still you can use that still you can use that and you need to provide your username password while creating a server you will be having a username password so that username password we need to give that this is my username password which i am trying to give you that so whenever you are logging first time your ip address so whatever your ip address need to be added in firewall need to be added in firewall so sorry so we pass the database that's why we're not able to connect so we can go back then uh, so it is in pause in progress and we'll refresh this so once it is passed you cannot connect the data warehouse so if you want to connect data warehouse you need to resume so there is an option called resume you can click on this after resume if you want to increase there is a scale so for example i have a requirement to increase my number of units data warehouse units i can go with that okay so after increasing this will be sorry after uh, resuming so once cluster is available once pool is available you can increase that so currently it is in resuming in progress and go to query editor so query editor where you can query you can run your queries but it is a little bit a small window and completely browser based then if you if you're looking for flexibility if you want to run more queries create procedures create tables run queries so better to use ssms so ssms is sql server management studio where you can install your system and you can use that so SSMS will give you flexibility. It's a SQL developer tool where you can run queries, you can create databases, you can create a tables. Okay. So that flexibility is available. So when you are connecting first time, so when you are connecting first time, so default Azure uh, databases will block your IP means a highly secured one. So if you want to enable uh, your system IP to connect your databases, there is a five worlds and what world networks mm -hmm. so there is an option if you are connecting only azure services you can use this uh, allow azure services if you are connecting third party like using ssms i'm connected from a local, local system right so there is a add client ip so this is my ip my ip will get added here my ip will get added then i won't face any issues let's discard this go to your overview there you can find this and you can refresh so anyway we resumed data warehouse earlier we passed now we resumed now it is available now it is available you can access so provide your 
database server name and authentication which type of authentication are going for are you going with active directory or sql authentication sql authentication means that username password so that username password which when you are creating a sql server it will ask username password so that username password you can give or you can create your own user if you are an admin and mm -hmm. when i'm trying to connect from my local system it is throwing exception that is firewall is blocking so how to enable that so there is a firewall if you go to left side window firewalls and virtual networks and there is a add client type so this is my current system ip there it will be added see this then save this so my ip has been added now i will try it again So now you can create a, another database or maybe tables and procedures. So you can run here. So this is our dedicated SQL pool database. Right click and open new query window. Then you can run your queries. So as of now, it does not have any tables. Just it's a new data warehouse. So it's empty. And if you want to create a tables, we can create a table. So before creating a table, we need to understand different types of distributions in Synapse. So the previous session we covered what is distribution, how many types of distributions and uh, how it will store the data physically where it will storage and distributions and other things. So when it comes to tables, different types of tables we can create here. Those are very important, especially for Synapse. So Synapse distribution types. So actually Synapse is storing 60 distributions, right? 60 distributions. Then how it will divide and it will process the data. So when you are processing data, so it will divide and process data into 60 databases in your cluster. When you are processing data, it will divide and process into 60 databases. How it will process data into these 60 databases? That is called distribution types. Distribution types. There are three types of distributions it's supporting. One is hash distribution. Hash distribution based on hash key. So hash key means you need to give one column name so that column name data it will consider then it will distribute the data second one is round robin so round robin and another distribution it's a default default distribution third one is broadcast so broadcast distribution okay so when it comes to different types of distributions if you are looking for more information about this so anyway next videos i will cover uh, synapse distributions so so if you go to microsoft website they already given complete information about different types of distributions so hash distribution round robin distribution and broadcast so when it comes to broadcast so we will call it as a uh, the background it will be using a broadcast algorithm when you look at this see hash has distribution based on hash key and when it comes to round robin so default round robin will be created and hash distribution So a replicated distribution. So replicated is nothing but a broadcast. A replicated is another one which is nothing but a broadcast. A replicated. The same data will be copied into all the places. So when you are creating a table in Synapse, that table should be any of this. Maybe hash distribution, round robin distribution, broadcast distribution. So when you are creating a table, staging table, staging or temporary tables. So choose round robin. Okay, so when you are going with the fact table, so fact table or you can say huge tables. So huge tables are minimum 60 million rows, minimum 60 million rows, choose hash distribution. Okay, 
then if you are going with the small tables so small tables in uh, data warehousing primarily dimension tables so dimension tables choose broadcast so broadcast or collect okay so when it comes to broadcast the data will be distributed into all the nodes okay that is replicating the same copy will be available in another nodes that is a broadcast collect sorry a replicate so replicate is another one this Anvias name you can call it as replicate hash distribution round robin distribution broadcast distribution for staging tables temporary tables choose round robin for fact tables huge tables historical data at least a minimum 60 million records why because 60 distributions so each distribution will have 1 million so minimum 60 million rows if you have then go with hash distribution so then for dimension tables, small tables which you can go with the broadcast so less than 1 gb data so less than 1 gb data you can go with broadcast that is a replicate distribution so in next video i will explain you individual what is hash distribution what is round robin and broadcast and how to create a table using this distributions if you like this video please subscribe my channel to get latest updates and latest videos from my channel thank you watching my videos thank you very much